I know it's been a while since I vlogged. I'm probably gonna have to do this vlog in like serious space pieces because spaced out pieces. Um, just have like a lot of personal stuff going on in my life. And yeah, there's like no use in filming. So, um, excuse my eye. That's not makeup. Obviously, I'm not wearing any. It really is like bruised and stuff. I don't know what I've done to my eye. I'm gonna have to go to the doctor in a couple days if it's not better. It hurts a lot. <laughs> awesome. So, I called my doctor to see if I could get in tomorrow before work because I have to leave. I got called in early today. I have to leave in like 20 minutes to go to work, which I'm almost ready, so that's fine. But, like, my eye is bruised now and I need to go see the doctor so I don't go flipping blind in my right eye and they're like we don't do appointments anymore you don't do appointments like I have a job in a life and I need to schedule things to make sure I can get in so I can stay healthy um, before I go do these things so I need to make sure that I have a time slot so I can get in and like you have to call the day the day of you want to come and see if they can get you in. Like, this is how we end up with hospital bills. So obviously it's the next day. I got up this morning and my eye was almost swelled shut. It's um, a little bit less swelled than it was, but it's still kind of blurry. And I was like, oh my god, because when I woke up it felt like, like half my face was swollen, but it really it was just like my eye. And uh... So I'm like, I gotta go to the doctor, oh my god. So like, I go to the doctor, just left work, took me to the doctor, cause like, with my eye being blurry, he was a gentleman and didn't want me to drive, which was really awesome. And uh, they said that I have a blocked duct, and it caused a sty, and so it's probably gonna get more swollen every morning, but, um, cause it's got to uh, drain in a couple days, they said, probably. So it will, but uh, I'm on some eye drops, and it's like an antibiotic thing. And then uh, I gotta like massage it like this. Like, it's weird. And then I have to put a hot compress on it every day until it drains. So, fun times. But now I have to go to work. Welcome to day five of I still have this mother trucking sty in my freaking eye. Like, I'm mad about it still. So, yeah. Day five. Still there. Still annoying. Still barely wearing any makeup on my face, obviously. So I feel gross. As really not confident as that sounds. It's true, I feel gross. And uh, going to work with this is so not okay because... I feel like people are like looking at me not wanting me to wait on them because they feel like I have pink eye and that's just not the case so yeah good times hey guys it's day five or day six I can't even remember now of having this stupid thing on my eye um, I think it's actually starting to look better um, it's turning like white the rest of my eye is still kind of red as you can see um so that's where it's at on day five or six i think it's five all right guys so i'm debating on whether or not to post this video but it's been like a week i think today and it's about gone and uh that's what it looks like now you can barely see it which is what you want um I'm still taking the antibiotic drops every day, every four hours, um, but yeah, I'm able to like wear makeup, but I just can't put it on my lower eye yet, so not until it's gone, but last night it like came off, so like the skin came off, um, which is gross, but that's what it looks like on the seventh day. Hey guys, guess what? It's day 10 or 11, I can't remember anymore. And my eye is better. 
suffer like I have pimples, but like I'll take it over what I just went through. Um, but it's better. Uh, it's really important. I'm still on my antibiotic eye drops, by the way. I'm still taking them. I'll take them until I'm done because that is what the doctor tells you to do and you should listen to your doctor. Uh, it's very important. I will still not wear makeup under here, by the way. I'm, I'm not, it's not makeup, by the way. I probably shouldn't have done that with a finger I haven't just washed. Don't do what I do. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Anyway, make sure you do not, if you get a sty, make sure you follow your doctor's directions. If it gets to the point where mine did, where your eyes swollen, pretty much almost shut, go to your doctor. Um, or before, just make sure you call your doctor and find out what you're supposed to do. And uh, go see them if they ask you to. Keep it clean. Don't wear any makeup on it. I probably should even wear makeup, period. They didn't, like, tell me not to, but a lot of people were telling me not to. But I just didn't wear any under my eye, and I haven't for, like, a while. So I'm going to probably give it two more days just to make sure I'm on the... You know, I'm on it, and I keep it clean, and that's it. So, I'm going to go back to wearing eyeliner in about two days and make sure it's like a full two weeks, and that it's all gone and everything's great. So, the adventures of having a sty, I hope to God, are over now. And, uh, yeah, so I hope that if you have one and you watch this video, you learned something, and if you have any questions see your doctor. Don't see me. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you my experience in case it helped you. You're not by yourself. Um, so now the lady at work has one. A lady I work with daughter has one. My father-in-law has one. So by the way, they are contagious. <laughs> um, yeah. So, sorry to anybody I might have given mine to. I apologize. And, uh, just make sure you take care of it. Take care of yourself. And everybody have a great day. Till next video, which will hopefully be a music video. I'm back to my music life. <laughs>